What's up everyone? Brent here with Pedal Pros where we talk about cycling and life. Today I got a few things I want to do. I'd love to be going to get a haircut because this is a disaster. But we're going to take my bike frame up to the shop where I bought it, get it looked at, see if that crack or the chip or whatever that's in it from the accident I had a week or two ago is in fact terminal or can it be repaired or is everything a-okay and it's just cosmetic. I don't think so, but perhaps. The other thing, my coach works up there on Monday, so we're going to stop by, see him, see what's up. But before we do any of that, man, I got to get some coffee. Let's go. Can I get a tall Americano? Okay. So I went a little bit out of the way to get some coffee because that's where I go every Monday and Wednesday when I'm usually on my way to work. They make good coffee, they have good people, and it's super convenient right on Cypress North Houston over here. So now we're headed out to bike lane. Well, let's go see what they say. I don't know whether that's a paint line down there or another crack, right? No. Can you x-ray these things to see them? Yeah, but it's not going to tell you anything more than touching them. Mm. Well, I don't want them to find my motor in there either, you know? Yeah, true. Really. All right, so bike lane's going to take a look at it. Things don't look good right now, but we'll see what they say. We'll come back and we'll go from there. Now that I'm home, I'm sitting on the couch, I've had some time to process what's going on, and it looks like there are a few possible outcomes here. One, I have to pay for a repair on the frame, if that is possible, we'll find out. Two, a replacement frame from Cervelo, if they offer that at a reasonable price. Three, find a new solution for a bike. None of those are cost effective, even though I've had a number of people offer me parts wheels, the use of a frame, I even mean, that offers of financial contributions towards a new bike. But either way, whatever I do is going to have some sort of financial ramification of a significant amount for me personally, probably. And that's okay. The issue with that is that I very much want to get back to racing. But Laney and myself are very much looking forward to the opportunity to move. This house that we're in is a great house, but there's it's not a great place for our kids. And so that is priority for our family. Now, if it was just me by myself, new bike, move, I'm buying the new bike and punting the, the financial obligations to getting this house ready to sell and moving into a new one down the road a bit. And we'll sit down, we'll talk about what our options are when the bike shop calls us back and lets us know what our options are. We'll go through those options, we'll make a decision together, and at some point, I will be back on the road I will be racing again. What that will look like, I don't know just yet. Man, I was blessed to have that bike in the first place. I'm blessed to be okay right now and recovering so that I can get back at it eventually. Everything is, on the whole, pretty good. I'll keep you guys updated when I hear back. If you haven't seen the video yet, go ahead and check out the card up here of what happened, the crash that caused the need for these repairs. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Click the link over here to subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and I'll see you next time.